when you see a transmission line you will notice that there is no neutral wire in the transmission line whereas when you look at the distribution lines there you will notice the neutral line so why is this difference why there is no uh, neutral line in the transmission and why we need a neutral line in the distribution in this video we are going to talk about that only and if you want to get the details in the easiest way then you need to watch the video hello everybody and welcome back to yet another interesting video so let us say we have a generating station and using which we are generating power at 11 kV and then we are stepping it up to 420 kV using a power transformer. Now on the left hand side what you can see is the secondary of the power transformer which is connected in the star manner. Right. And this is the transmission line we have. This is the R phase. This is the Y phase and this is the B phase. And at the right hand side, what you can see is the primary of the distribution transformer, which is again connected in the star manner, right? So for now, we have connected a neutral wire here. Now, uh, for simplicity purpose, I'm not showing any generating station or distribution network or something like that. I'm just simply showing one power transformer secondary and primary of the distribution transformer. So this is our transmission line. Now let's say this is a long distance transmission line. We are delivering power, let's say 100 kilometers, 200 kilometers from the generating station. And here we have used a neutral wire. Now here, if you notice this particular circuit arrangement that you will identify or you will observe that this particular circuit is electrically independent circuit. And what does that mean? So when we use transformer basically we are also isolating two circuits electrically so the circuit connected to the primary side is isolated with the circuit connected on the secondary side uh, electrically right that is one of the advantages of using the transformer and if you're interested in learning more about transformer i have a dedicated course on that you can just go to courses.theelectricalguide.in to know more about it so this particular circuit is isolated from the their respective primary and secondary circuits. So whatever there is at the generating side, the circuit is not having any impact because of that. Similarly, whatever there is on the secondary side of the distribution uh, network, that will not have any impact on the circuit. So whatever load you are connecting on the secondary side, uh, it will not have any impact on this particular circuit. So we can say that this particular circuit is perfectly balanced circuit or perfectly balanced network. Now, when do we say that when the current taken by every phase is equal, then we can say that the particular circuit is balanced. And this circuit is exactly the balanced circuit because there is no load except this line. So it is perfectly balanced. And why do we use neutral? Neutral is required where there is an imbalance. Right, so this neutral carries the current of uh, I R plus I Y plus I B. The sum of this, uh, the sum of the return path of all the phases is carried by the neutral conductor. But if the system is perfectly balanced, then the current flowing through the neutral is always zero. Let me show that to you. So here you can see a waveform of a three phase system. We have R, Y and B phase here. So let's say we want to calculate uh, the current sum of current at this 360 degree instance, right? And as we have uh, discussed already, the neutral carries the sum of the current flowing through I, R plus I, uh, Y plus I, B. Now at the 360 degree uh, location, you can see that the red phase is zero, right? The value of rate phase is zero so zero then plus the current uh, flowing through the y phase now you see the y phase now we will consider this is the maximum position but this is in the opposite direction this is in the negative direction so minus i max right plus now current flowing through the blue phase now you see the blue phase at 360 degree uh, position it is at the positive peak but it is exactly opposite to that of the 
uh, uh, y phase that we have just discussed. So this will be plus i max. So if you add all these three current, the resultant current that you will get is zero. Now this is true for any instance. You can take any instance on this waveform. You will notice that the sum of the written current is always zero, right? And this is true even for transmission lines. Now, since my neutral is not going to carry any current, why should I use it, right? It is unnecessary use of one additional conductor. So I can totally remove that neutral conductor and still the same amount of power that we were transferring before. It will have no impact on any of the phases. So here I have saved the cost of one complete conductor over the complete transmission network. So let's say if my transmission network is 200 kilometers long, I have saved, saved a conductor worth 200 kilometers. It's a big saving, right? So that is the reason why you will see there, we do not need to use neutral conductor in case of transmission network because that particular network is completely balanced. This is balanced. And of course, if uh, the system is not balanced, in that case, you need to have neutral. You must use neutral in that situation. And that is the reason why you will see that in the distribution. Now, this is the secondary of distribution, again, star connected. Now, it is necessary that it should be star connected because then only you will have a neutral point there. Now, in the distribution network, you need to have a neutral wire because the distribution network is not balanced. You cannot control the load connected to the neutral side. So let's say if there are three houses, this is one, this is a second, and this is third. And the one house, you know, the current taken by this house, let's say is 10 ampere. This is, let's say 12 ampere, and this is, let's say 50 ampere. So everything is different. So definitely this particular load will not be balanced. And therefore, the neutral conductor will carry some amount of current. And that is the reason why the distribution network must have a neutral wire. Transmission, it is not necessary. Why? Because the system is perfectly balanced. There won't be any written current that will be flowing through the neutral. And hence, you can remove it. But when we talk about distribution network, then distribution network must have a neutral conductor. Right? That is the reason why you will see no neutral wire in the transmission line, but there is a neutral in the distribution network. So that is the reason behind it. And if you are interested to know more about what happens if we new remove the neutral, I have a dedicated video on that. I'll provide a link for that down in the description. You can go and check it out. Right. So that's all for this video, guys. I hope you have uh, understood the reason behind not using neutral in the transmission line. If you found the video helpful, do like the video and do click on the subscribe button to get the update of all upcoming interesting video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.